Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad you're here and I hope you guys had an amazing summer. It's September and it's getting more and more cold so I thought I'm going to do a, a fragrance review on uh, Middle Eastern fragrances I recommend for the fall and also winter or just in general for more colder days. And if you're new here my name is Martin and I do perfume reviews so welcome to this channel. So as always I will try to keep the video as short as possible still informative i'm not going to talk about the notes or not that much because there are four fragrances i'm going to talk about and as i said i want to keep the video as short as possible so let's get straight to it the first fragrance i'm going to talk about is a fragrance i've been raving about a lot i've talked about this fragrance a lot already on my channel and it's shagaf oud by swiss arabian and this fragrance is truly a masterpiece i just love it so much in my opinion I mean, I wore it in summer as well, so you can wear it in summer, but it can be a little overwhelming since, since it's a beast mode fragrance, very strong projecting and very loud. But I feel like this is a fragrance I would personally prefer for the colder days, like fall and winter. So I have this fragrance in my collection for half a year now, and I still have a not full bottle, but there's a little bit of juice in here still, and I will definitely repurchase this fragrance. I recommend it. I feel like it's perfect for colder days because you have the oud in here, you have praline in here. It is definitely a gourmand fragrance. Sweet. Um, you have rose in here as well. So let me show you the atomizer because the atomizer is fantastic. Yeah, and the scent is just so amazing. It's perfect for layering in my opinion. And I just love fragrances that are perfect for layering because I'm a big fan of layering fragrances. And I layered this one with a lot of fragrances. I layered this with for example, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I'll layer this one a lot with uh, Arabian's Tanka. I'll layer this one also with other Middle Eastern fragrances I have in my collection. For example, Khaltat al Arabia is also one I like to layer this one um, with a lot. So just very beautiful, strong, projecting, really a beast mode fragrance. I get around 10 to 12 hours. So you don't really need a lot. You don't have to overspray this fragrance. People will smell and recognize you and as I always say with this fragrance this is a fragrance where people will smell you before they see you like this is really going to feel the like to fill the room with this scent so you can definitely make a big entrance with this fragrance the next fragrance I'm going to talk about is um, Oud for Glory so it's this one here and this is a dupe for Oud for Greatness um, by Inicio I already talked about this fragrance in uh, a video actually in two videos because I did a first impression and then I did a video where I was talking about my Middle Eastern fragrance collection so I still have it in my um, collection I kind of learned to appreciate this fragrance more lately because as I already said I don't really like to wear this fragrance on its own but for layering it's just so amazing and I feel like for fall and winter you can definitely wear this fragrance on its own like I mean, it is a very good tube if you're looking for a um, good tube by Inicio, uh, for the Inicio one. And I do feel like this is a fragrance you can do no wrong. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this fragrance. This is the next thing. And I actually didn't really expect it because I did like it, but I felt like I had better fragrances in my collection. Um, but still, every time I wore this, I mean, mostly I layered it, but this definitely like overpowers all the fragrances I layered with. And I get compliments. Like I remember the the last time actually was a few days ago when I was wearing this fragrance. I was out with a friend in the bar, and there was a guy behind me. And he was like, "Oh my god, you smell so amazing!" If I may ask you, what fragrance are you wearing? And he was actually like, um, he wanted to know which fragrance this one here was because I layered it. And he just he was like, "Okay, I'm just going to order it because it is also very cheap, very inexpensive." I got this one uh, for twenty five euros. And for that price, you definitely get a beast mode fragrance. And I feel like beast mode fragrances are perfect for colder days because they're not that overwhelming as they are mostly on warm days. So let me show you the atomizer. The atomizer is very nice. And the smell, yes. So you get a lot of wood in here. You get definitely the saffron in the opening. Lavender, I don't really get lavender, but I do get the patchouli in here. This is very dominant on the patchouli and on the oud 
And for layering combinations, I like to layer this one also with Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I feel like Lost Cherry is a fragrance that is perfect for layering and definitely masterpiece on its own. You don't have to take this one to layer with other fragrances. But this one, yeah, with Lost Cherry, I like to layer that a lot with um, Shagaf Oud, for example, with this one here. These two together are bomb and I get like, like I don't even have to respray. Like I can spray this one in the morning and I still can smell myself late evening night like when i got get got out of the shower the last time i was wearing these two fragrances together i could still smell it on my skin so amazing if you're looking for a beastmal fragrance then you should definitely give this one a try because i feel like you can't do no wrong but you do have to like strong wood fragrances to enjoy this fragrance so there are two more fragrances i'm going to talk about the next one is Majd al sultan by azdaf and this is also a beastful fragrance. Like I feel like all the fragrances I have here are very strong, very loud as well, um, and perfect, as I said, for the colder days. This one is a very smoky and incensive fragrance with myrrh in here. Um, so many people say that this is a dupe for By the Fireplace by Mason Margiela. Um, I do think they share a lot of similarities, but they're not that similar. I don't think this is an exact dupe for uh, by the fireplace but I do appreciate this one as well because it is very smoky as I said very instant it has a slight sweetness even though it's a unisex fragrance I feel like this is more masculine leaning and perfect for colder days especially for rainy days and also it's projecting a lot and it lasts very long on skin and on clothing like on shirts for example last time I was wearing a shirt and I uh, used this fragrance, I could smell this fragrance like after a whole week still because I, I, I was only wearing it for two hours. I was like, okay, let me just put it back in the closet. And I usually never do this, but I thought, I thought like, never mind, just back to the closet. And after one week, I could still smell it and I had to wash it because I didn't want my closet to smell like this fragrance all the time. But definitely a big recommendation. And you should give this one a try if you're looking for a smoky fragrance for fall and winter. The last fragrance I'm going to talk about, and this is a fragrance I purchased two weeks ago. I've been wearing it twice since then. And it's um, Kite by Latafa. And this one was actually recommended by one of my um, subscribers. But I also had this one on my list already. And I thought, okay, let me just give this one a try. And in my opinion, it's just perfect for fall. It is... A little smoky it's also a little boozy and you get the saffron and you get cardamom so it's spicy sweet I don't think that this is really a dupe for another fragrance or at least I don't really know a fragrance this could be a dupe of I personally think from the notes it could be a Tom Ford um, dupe I just don't know from which fragrance I think it was ombre leather because I don't know the notes right now from Ombre Leather, but I, I know that there are some notes that they are also like in another Tom Ford fragrance. Um, but still, very beautiful. It is also strong. Not as strong as the other fragrances in, my, in this um, collection I shared with you guys, but it's still long lasting. It is a very, at least a beautiful scent trail. Um, in my opinion, it is more masculine leaning. I feel like all these fragrances here are more masculine leaning, except Shag of Oud. I feel like this is perfect, a perfect unisex fragrance and a beautiful gourmand fragrance. The other ones are definitely on the more masculine side, but I mean, you never know. I always say in the end of the day, every fragrance is unisex and you just have to know what you like and what fits your personality type. So this one, for example, if you like saffron, if you like cardamom, spices, and if you just like that, definitely oriental, because this has a very oriental DNA. If you like oriental fragrances, then you're going to enjoy this fragrance as well. So these are the four fragrances I wanted to share with you guys. Perfect for fall and also for winter. I mean, summer is, it's not really summer anymore here in Vienna at least. I mean, we have September now, it's pretty cold outside and you can definitely wear this fragrances in the weather and definitely when it gets more cold these fragrances are perfect to just match with the weather so I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did then please hit the like button comment down below what you think if you have one of these fragrances um, if you want to try them if you have any questions 
then please ask and I hope to see you guys very soon for another review. Thank you.